have now arrived to my campsite and so far it looks very nice here. It's a bit windy but it should calm down to rain towards the evening and I have high hopes for some nice nature photography through this trip. I was here last Friday, which is like six days ago, and the water level was much higher back then. It's amazing how, how much it, it's actually lower right now. I am on top of a ridge and I have a pond on my right side and a lake on my left. And in the middle of the pond there is like a little island, a swampy island, and in the middle of that island there is a swan nest. So I'm really hoping to get some nice images of those swans in the morning. And of course doing it respectfully that I won't disturb them. Later to this evening we are going to go see if there is a beaver, because I've seen a beaver nest here before. And there are uh, dead, dead standing trees in the water, which is usually a sign that beavers might be present. So we're gonna go see if those are there still. And then we have to find a nice spot for the photography hide to get it set up for the morning. But first, have to set up the camp. Yes. It's only like a 300 meter walk from my tent to the spot where I wanna, where I think I wanna put the photo blind. Because last time I was here, the water level was much higher, and there wasn't really, there weren't really many places where I could put the hide. And all the places I found were a bit obscured by by vegetation around it and some some uh, small trees and such. And this time, because the water level has gone down, I'm hoping that I can find some uh, flat area closer to the water's, water's edge. So, let's see. Okay, there is the swan nest. Right in front of us. Last time I had the hide here. But the problem was that there are some uh, little trees here covering my view and I couldn't get a clear shot of the animals over there. There was just a little gap in between those two branches there. So I was hoping that if I could get it closer there to the water's edge or even go on the other side of the swampy area there is like another peninsula. Maybe there is a better place for the tent. Finally I was able to find a spot for the tent. The ground is so wet still that it was really difficult to find a spot where it wouldn't be completely soaked. But I think that's gonna work. Mm. It's good. Real turmat. At some point we should, when, when the sun is uh, going lower, when it's almost setting already, we should go and look for the beaver, if it's there. Sun is rising, I think it's, it was 420. So I think I should try to be in the hide just before sunrise. Then I'm gonna get the best light to photograph the swans and whatever comes my way. Okay, let's go see if we can find a beaver. If we are lucky, I don't even know if there's a beaver, but let's go find 
let's go see anyway because why not That really looks like it. it is a beaver's nest, or at least has been a beaver's nest at some point. But it seems quite quiet now. I don't see any kind of movement or any, any kind of ripple in the water. It's completely calm. So I guess no beaver this time. I'm all alone here in the wilderness. Me and some animals, mostly birds. And the uh, sun is going to set in half an hour, that direction over there. And I guess next time we better luck with the beaver, but this time it seems that we are not finding a beaver. Cheers. So the day is coming to an end now and it's been a very interesting day. We didn't see the beaver, but there are definitely signs that there has been a beaver or there is a beaver, but this time we couldn't find it. Maybe next time. And um, everything went well. The photography hide is now in a good spot for tomorrow morning. And um, my camp is set and sleeping bag is ready for me to crawl in. And it's been really nice. Nice to stay a, stay a half day here again in the wilderness in central Finland. And tomorrow is an early start. I have to wake up around... I think the sun is rising like 4.20 or something like that. So I think I should try to wake up at 4 and get to the photography hide just before sunrise. Oh, by the way, and I saw a crane too. It flew away when it saw me because I didn't mean to spook it, but I kind of did because I didn't see it and then just suddenly was there and I walked too, too close. But hopefully tomorrow when I'm in the hide, the crane will also come because there is some exposed swamp area now, now that the water level has gone down. So hopefully, hopefully the crane will land right in front of my tent. That would be awesome. Now that the day has come to an end, I could tell you all something about myself and about this channel. Um, I've been thinking about starting a YouTube channel for a couple of years already actually and I have taken some video clips every now and then but I just never got to actually making a proper video out of it so this time I, I decided that now now is the right time to start doing it I think you already figured it out that this channel is going to be about uh, nature photography and uh, camping and camera gear and whatever everything that's related to to nature photography and my name is Visa Vara by the way I live in central Finland and I've been taking photos for for the past four years I would say I already got my first DSLR like 10 years ago but First I, I wasn't taking so many images, but then I don't know exactly what happened, but something triggered this um, interest towards nature. And, and I've always liked hiking, so I guess it was kind of like a natural progression that I would also start documenting what I see and taking pictures of animals and landscapes. But I'm sure you will get to know me a bit better as I make more and more videos and hopefully you will join me on my next videos as well. Okay then, 
I'll finish my tea and then I think I, I'm gonna go to sleep. It's an early start tomorrow. See you then. Bye. set up. I have a pretty nice view, panoramic view from here. I can see the swan nest and then there are a couple of dead trees standing that I, if a bird lands on one of those trees, I'm gonna get a great image. I have some difficulties with my camera this morning. The front lens is fogging up. I'm trying to warm up the camera just a little bit in the sun to get it working again. Gear and conditions don't always go together. Okay, I've now sat here in my tent for roughly roughly three hours. The sun is actually quite high already, so the, the light is getting a bit harsh. So I think I'm gonna call it morning now and pack my stuff and try to get out of here as quietly as possible. And then I'm going to get some breakfast, proper breakfast. morning photography session is over now and it was really nice I saw the swans then there were a lot of seagulls some golden eyes uh, some little birds that I'm not sure what they were but they were flying around and I, I think I got a couple of nice nice images it was just a little bit unfortunate that at the very moment when I was when I thought I was capturing the best picture for the morning my lens started fogging up 
it's a very annoying problem that happens every now and then if the conditions are right and uh, but overall I'm really happy about uh, about this morning and now I'm gonna have second breakfast some porridge and coffee hello hello again yesterday when I was walking here I, there was a group of people that uh, came from this direction there is a path going around this pond and they told me that there is some uh, frog love happening in the end of the pond in the rocks so I thought that I will before I leave I will go and see if they are still still there I could get an image or two let's see how it goes I found the frogs they're down there I'll show you All right, this trip is going to end now and it's been a very nice 24 hours in the forest. I have seen a lot of wildlife, small and big. I really had some amazing experiences here now. And yeah, it's been great. So thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.